Well, welcome to another Gear Talk episode with us. So now we're starting. No, I'm starting. Um, off the back of the row rut a couple of weeks ago now, and we just want to share, yeah, our experience over the past uh, what couple of months with the uh, the Quest H35R. Yes, there's three models. There's the yep. H50R, the H35. R and the L35R, L35. and they sent us the mid-range ones to go out and test. Now, I haven't had much chance to test it because no. uh, Dan's been all over these, and so it's your review, Dan. I'll, yes. I'm living by the Vista, <laughs> and uh, during the rut, you've been using this, haven't you? So he's out behind me with the cameras filming, but of course he's spotting as well, and when I say there's a book coming in, Dan needs to pick these up, have a quick look, and of course, immediate heat source, he can move his camera into a position to be able to take it. So we use it probably slightly differently yeah. to, to you guys who'll be using them to find game and hopefully shoot them or assess them prior to shooting them. So. But no less that, you know, we've obviously I've been trying to record content within them as we go along. But um, first impressions, it's, it was a strange um, shift from a monocular to a binocular, um, but one that I've actually kind of really got used to uh, now. And I have to say, they are a piece of kit. And they are a piece of kit when you get them fully adjusted to your eyes. It, initially, I thought, oh, these, this, they're not right. There's some, this is something not right here. And then I had to go and do a bit of, bit of you know, it's that kind of thing where you, you get them out of the box and you just think you know how to use them, like everyone does. Yeah. I kind of had that, yeah, confidence of thinking, oh yeah, these are gonna be easy to use. And they are until you understand and know how to adjust them to your eyes. So basically, you, what you have here, is basically what's called fully dark adjustable eye cups. Yes, dark <laughs> eye, eye adjustments. Um, and once you've got those adjusted to your eyes, I have quite a small face, smart, quite a small head. Um, so, yeah, I have it on the lowest setting, and um, it's yeah, just they're just a piece of kit. But obviously, you guys want to know all the the, spe the eye specs. friendly viewing. But I think you need to tell the team that first thing you get when you pick up, there's no weight to them. So. No. I, Less than uh, on the box grams. it says just under 700 grams but with the strap on battery in it it's just under 800 grams but really nothing um i mean i've guys that come out with me that sh that perhaps using other brands they've got this huge thing hanging around the neck mm. which is their thermal binos uh, these are really lightweight really mm. lightweight very easy to use they've got a um, and that's the first thing you initially yeah feel when you do pick them up it's like oh and, uh, oh, there you go. Sorry, and then you put, you've got an external battery that goes yeah. in there um, that you can charge separately or charge within it, mm -hmm. and then it's got its own internal um, battery as well. So you've got what are we getting? We're probably getting ten, ten, ten hours with the internal battery. So um, mm -hmm. six six hours off the internal battery, and then the other depending on um, charge how much the other one has been charged up. You're getting up to ten hours with it, but and they do say six hours, but that is you know based on. You know, if you're recording a lot, do do expect that it will be go, less than it. that. But it's, but I, I never once thought, oh, these were running out of battery. Though it was always, you know, and they were on constantly for hours when we were. But there's out. a reason for that, isn't there? So it's got like a motion sensor yes. here, there, right the front. That when it's hanging down here, yeah, it, it goes it into standby. Goes right? into standby. And then when you lift them up. Like as that you come up, switches it on to full switches power. Switches on, yeah, which is again a really, They're really clever, aren't they? I think innovative little feature, and obviously it comes in the box with um, the thing that you love, the uh, the bino harness, a bottle of beer, no, <laughs> no. a oh, bino God, harness, yeah. and then obviously the uh, the bino, bino harness, well, strap right. for the binos if you, depending on what you. It's got a prefer. modern box bino harness that are very popular now, not with me. I'm old school, I'd rather have that, but that's another story um, that you can uh, move. I don't know why we haven't got it here, but anyway, it's probably yeah, out in the truck. It's in here, actually. Oh, well, okay, let's show it then. It let's get it out. Oh, here we go. This isn't one of your standard reviews, you know. It just... And what's he got? Magnification, go. let's get on to the spec. No what's he got? The... 3 to 24? So, yeah, so the magnification is 3 to 24, which is basically, if you hold that just to show them. That basically just fits on there. You'll never see one of these. As, you, as your standard bino harness. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that drops down. Standard bino harness. Anyway. Anyway. Right. right. Um, okay. So three to twenty-four mag. That's basically controlled right on the front here. Really smooth. Really easy to 
control and then obviously you have your, your focus button here which just is like like your normal binos. Um, 64 gig of memory. 64 gig of internal in. memory which is really really good and obviously if you go on the Knockpix app you can just download those clips straight onto your phone and post them onto Instagram. Man manage it from there. It's the kind of all, it's the thing that a lot of people expect from the thermal unit now is that you can get that footage straight off your device yeah. really easy on your app and, and you, you're publishing it within the hour, a lot of the guys are now. Um, has it got a rangefinder done? It has, yeah. LRF, internal LRF um, with a detection range up to a thousand meters. So the detection range on this actual unit they say is 1800 meters but that's obviously thermal detection but the laser, laser rangefinder is up to a thousand meters which for me, I don't think we need anything. I can't even over. see that far, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think for us, if anything, so 100 is, is, is yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, any other specs? Waterproof. Um, it's, yeah. Well, well we've, we've had, had an hot summer, but we had some rain the other day and it got absolutely soaked, didn't they? So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's robust. Yeah. Like, wait, that's the thing that's made. If you said to me, what's it? I just pick them up and I've held other. Um, brands of binoculars. It's just a really nice, lightweight set of binoculars. Yeah. And I say I haven't had much use of them because we've had them over the rut, so I've been out using the, 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 the Vista monocular and all my road calls around my neck and, and then a set of um, normal glass binoculars. It's quite a bit. So Dan ended up with them and mm. you were really enjoyed them, didn't you? I was really impressed, yeah. Obviously, it, just take that, it takes that little bit of adjustment from monocular to a binocular, but... They are, yeah. Quick really. start-up time as everything we're not picked. Yeah. As soon as you hit the button, it's up with the logo, bosh, it's on, which yeah. is um, from the old days of older thermals. It used to take quite a while for them to kick in, you know, but these are just virtually instant. So uh, that's another impressive part of it. Uh, yeah. Sub no. 15 millikelvin, so really good, really good performance there um, for a thermal. Um, I think that's what impresses a lot of guys. You know, you, you're really starting to get the best performance out of these thermals now on the market. It just every upgrade that they make is just like it's like surely, the clarity, surely yeah, it's just the image pictures. They can't get any better. No, but they keep no, doing they it. They do. They just keep getting better and better. So we've been really impressed. But for me, sixty hertz frame rate. Um, this is basically a thirty-five mil uh, f zero point nine, I believe, objective lens. So it's all the you know the standard that you would expect from a, a very good performing thermal and um, it's whatever you guys prefer really um, for me I didn't think I would really take to these but I don't think I would now switch back to a monocular I think I would continue to, to use impressed. these and, and I think it does take that bit of adjustment period but they really are yeah, again a really are bit piece of kit so yeah we, as we always say no apologies for our last lack of technical knowledge we get no. stuff out there we get it dirty we abuse it that's what the manufacturers want us to do mm. and we are just like you guys so we you know we're out in the field they take the knocks they get thrown into the back of the truck they get charged on the way down they got ch charged on the way back and uh, you know so it, it's it stands up to what we've done got a good battery life got a good memory size mm. um, and you can see from the example footage throughout this video that it is just really competitively priced and as everything that we get in from Knox Picks, it's robust you know it isn't you know you, you, it'll, it'll stand up to the test of time and um, would be um, you know definitely a product to consider consider any any um, you know thermal products are an investment for the normal uh, shooting stalking guys um, but definitely uh, worth considering really, yeah, we've absolutely. been really impressed with it and um, I'm, uh, now you've said all this mm. and now we're going on to looking for red deer I'm going to use them so hopefully we can get some more content and you'll put up on the screen hopefully some of the images that we've captured yeah. Robux bouncing in I or think something that, like that those example example footage does the talking for us you know we can sit here and say it's this and that but it's, it's what you guys want to see ultimately it's but I'm yeah, going to use them. I'm going to use them tomorrow night because I'm out looking for geese on stubble. So that'll awesome. be uh, that'll be good. Great. Well, that's Peace. just the initial unboxing uh, video and our yeah, initial um, review on it over the past four weeks, honest thoughts five weeks of, of the row rut. And um, yeah, we'll continue to use them and, and um, share with you guys. Yeah, exactly. Any queries? Any questions? Just PM us.